And welcome back. It's about 510. Billionaires Richard Branson and Jeff Bezos are already starting offering trips to outer space, but only other billionaires or perhaps millionaires can afford a ticket. Max Massey breaks down when affordable space travel, so to speak, could be available for the rest of us. If you're a space enthusiast without six figures of disposable income to spend on a trip where few tourists have gone before, you're going to have to wait. Space flights that could only cost four figures or even in the low five figures, well, they're not going to be happening anytime soon. Experts agree it is impossible today to give an accurate target date when affordable space travel will be available to the masses, but most agree they are decades away at best. One of the biggest challenges is the difficulty of getting enough would-be amateur astronauts into space at one time to spread the cost to make space space travel affordable. Virgin Galactic's well-publicized test flight with Richard Branson aboard carried just four passengers in addition to the two pilots. Jeff Bezos, his brother, and two other passengers set to be on the first Blue Origin rocket to carry tourists this week. There also needs to be significant demand for space travel to fill the seats no matter the price. The first space tourist was the U.S. millionaire Dennis Tito, who paid Russia $20 million in 2001 to fly him to and from the International Space Station. He is the first of seven travelers to date who have paid millions Millions to fly in space. But making affordable space flights a reality will take time and all types of technological advances, which frankly are not possible today.